How's it going everybody, Ben from Basic Mew here and in this video I'm opening Surging Sparks and well this is supposed to be a sealed case, a European case of that with 24 sleeved boosters, although this doesn't look like any case I've ever seen, there's like no Pokemon sticker anywhere. Um, well, we'll see, we'll make do and see what we can find in this. So this is something I've never opened before, a sleeved booster case, but I've heard good things about these. And as I've said, only 24 as compared to the, the case that are sold in the US because those have 144 booster packs and these ones only have 24, but you know, we'll make do. All right, our first sleeved booster pack right here. And to be fair, I've never really opened sleeved booster packs at all because they're not sold that often in, in um, our stores here over in Germany or just in, in Europe in general, I think. You do see the occasional like box set or whatever and maybe an elite trainer box, but these sleeve booster packs not very common over here. At least for me, maybe it's different in, in other cities, but there we are. Let's see, and a Gastrodon. So, this set is, I want to say a little bit controversial at the moment, maybe not the set in general, but the card the Pikachu that you can pull from the set, potentially. The Special Illustration Rare Pikachu EX. That one is very, very, a very hot topic at the moment, because as of right now, the card is sitting at well over $500 last time I checked on TCG Player. Well, over in Europe, it's not that expensive. Actually, if you do do the, um, the currency, conversion it does actually work out to about $500 as well which is insane it shouldn't be that expensive black curum first pull of our opening very nice and that is lovely illustrated by Cavallo that is a very cool looking black curum ex not too shabby so the Pikachu I feel like that is way too expensive for a modern card like I highly suspect some foul play with this card in particular because there's no way a modern card should be that expensive, a card that has just come out. Maybe it's just hype, but it does seem very sus to me. And the Japanese variant of that card, you know, which is superior in every single way. Yes, I do keep saying that, but it is the truth. That one is sitting at well below $200. So why would you ever spend $500 on the English version when the texture is just worse? I, I don't get it. And that's not the only thing. I've seen a Reddit post earlier today where PSA 10 versions of that Pikachu were selling for north of $3,000. And that is... I don't think they are legit sales. Let's just, just put it this way. So, to distract ourselves from the Pikachu, of course, I'd love to pull that one, even though I'd probably just end up selling it, because that is ridiculous. Um, let's be a little bit- Yo, Lyceon! Nice! Okay, a full art trainer. Maybe these sleeve booster packs are the way to go. Very nice. I was just gonna gonna say, maybe it'll stay a little bit more realistic. All right, and Lycia is all sleeved up. Very nice. I was just gonna talk about that I would love to pull something that I would actually keep in my collection. Because most of these special illustration rares, why they are, or the Pokemon specifically, they are really incredible and would love to pull any of them because they're just so great. Since I have switched out my special illustration rares for the Japanese um, special art rares, I would probably just end up selling most of them, actually. And that's a real shame. So I would love to pull a card that I'd actually be able to keep in my collection. And that would be any of the of the special illustration rare trainers. We've pulled the normal Lycia. Maybe we can get lucky and pull the special illustration rare Lycia. That would be a really cool addition to my collection. The Drayton, that's also really, really cool. That's also really cool. But yeah, in terms of Pokemon, let's just stay a little bit more realistic. Because, you know, I didn't have the best of luck with these with these modern Scarlet and Violet sets, especially the English ones. So, let's just stay a little bit more realistic and maybe just ask for some, some illustration rares or art rares that we could potentially pull in here. And there are three in this set that I would absolutely love to add to my collection. The first one being, of course, the Skarmory. I unfortunately wasn't able to pull that one in my in my original opening, 
in the Japanese opening, so I would love to pull that card, at least in English. That's a really, really cool one. The other one I would love to pull is the Fan P, because that one looks super cute. Super cute illustration. And the last one would actually be the Braviary, another one that I wasn't able to, to pull in my opening. Here's the Tatsugiri. I feel like I've pulled this card so many times now, because I've opened one Japanese booster box and then actually two traditional Chinese booster boxes of Super Electric Breaker. So I've, I feel like I've seen that card so many times now. But that's still a nice, a nice textured pull. Can't be too mad about that. So far, though, it seems like the ratios of these sleeved booster packs are pretty good. And I do know they make a bit more trash than than the normal booster boxes, but I feel like a booster box, you end up with so much bulk, in my opinion, a little bit too much bulk. So I think moving forward, I, I'm just gonna be opening sleeve booster box cases if if that's if that's an option. Right? Unless it's like a special set, you know, the upcoming, what is it? Prismatic Evolutions? Or whatever the set is called. The the high-class Japanese set, Terrestrial Festival, I think it's called. Probably mispronounced every single word of that one. And the English equivalent to that one, that is a special set. I'll probably be opening a bit more of that set. Because I do like the special sets, other than Shrouded Fable. We don't talk about Shrouded Fable. Zangus, Tauros. But yeah, I think moving forward with these normal releases, let's put it that way. With these normal releases, I think I'm just gonna switch to just opening these sleeved booster packs. Because it's also way less booster packs in general. I feel like a booster box with 36 booster packs, that also takes a while to open. Even though with these sleeved ones, maybe these sleeved ones aren't even that much faster. But, you know, we'll always try some new things out. I've actually never opened a built-in battle box because, well, I didn't really see a reason to. Because the built-in battle box are usually just for, well, as it said, built-in battle. You buy a one, then you build a deck. Hydragon EX, very nice, pulled the special art rare of this one in Chinese. Um, wouldn't mind another one, though. That would be very nice, but there we are. Hydragon was really happy when I pulled that one. Super, super happy with that pull. Let's see. An art rare illustration. We haven't encountered an art rare. We've gotten, I think, pretty good ratio for these sleeved booster packs, to be honest. But no, no illustration rare so far. So maybe this one, this pack will remedy that. Altaria, very lovely illustrated right there. Dragon Elixir, Paldean Tauros. Simi Seer and a Xian Pao once again. No illustration rare in this one. I've also been thinking about opening more and more Japanese and Chinese sets, you know, moving moving away from the English sets just a little bit. Just because, I don't know, maybe it was the 1000 mystery box that I've opened and that I've opened so much English products in that opening and was maybe a little bit disappointed with that one. Maybe that's why I want to move away and move more towards um, Japanese and Chinese, but we'll see. To be fair, though, I think, I think I don't open that many English products. I open a booster box here and there, and then maybe a three-pack blister. Yo, a slacking! Not bad. Another full art. We have the Lysia as well, and we have the slacking. So, so far, ratios seem to be really freaking good in this one. All right, also getting sleeved up right here. There we go, the slacking EX. Not too shabby. I think we're about halfway done with the with the booster packs. So we'll see. Maybe we have some more surprises in here. But so far, I'm really happy with the opening because the ratios seem to be pretty freaking good so far. Would love like one or two illustration rails as well, but. Can't really ask for much, pull two full arts, so that's already really cool. Paldean Tauros, Scatterbug, Glamora, and a Flamingo EX. Okay, or Flamigo EX. There we are, here's the Coca for that one. So, I think the next product I'm going to open, I will see when it arrives, I think it might take some time. Um, but I'm opening the, I think, second anniversary gift box, for Simplified Chinese, that is. 
And it basically just features, from what I've seen, all the sets that have been released recently. Not the first ones, but I think the, the recent Sword and Shield sets. So that is going to be really cool. The most important part about that box is that really, really cool playmat. I mean, at this point, I have so many playmats. Here's our Ace spec card. Brilliant Blender, not too shabby, nice. Brilliant Blender and a Holographic Repska right there. So that one is going to be an interesting product to open. I have so many, so many playmats at this point that I don't even know what to do with them. I mean, half of the time I can only use one anyways. And maybe for the foreseeable future, I might actually use that that Mew one. You know, that, that limited one that my friend got me. Because that one is just super cool and I'm really happy I got that one. Helioptile, Nine Tails, Call Bell, Quick Wavel, Helioptile, Klefki, and a Holographic Tapu Lele. Okay. A Lightning Energy, maybe that's a sign. We have the Lightning Energy in this pack, that means the Pikachu is in the next pack, right? Man, I, I really do love this pack art, though, this one in particular. This pack art looks super cool, in my opinion. It really does give me, like, EX Dragon vibes. This pack art. Really lovely stuff. EX Dragon, you know, that, that kind of shows how old I am. EX Dragon, all the way back from 2006, I want to say. Six or seven. I don't know if I got the year correctly. But it's been ages, basically. It's been ages. It's ancient history at this point. Cast form, Cerulege. I've got a chi chill a chill teaser toy, right? Fluttermane. Volcarona, lovely illustration. Yo, here is an illustration rare. Very nice. With the Clubopus. Not one that I was after, but that is very, very sweet. Very nice. Skeletor, and here is the code card. Hey, so, and there you go, all sleeved up as well. So far, we've gotten everything I could have asked for. We have two full arts. I have an illustration rare. Honestly, this, this sleeved booster case, that just seems to be the ratio of a booster box if you take a bit, if you take away a bit of the bollock that usually comes with it. Sigiglyph, haven't seen that illustration before. That looks lovely. Reladon. Yeah, this, this is really, really cool stuff, I think. We'll see what else this one holds for us. I, I'm really surprised, or maybe we can be a bit surprised here as well. Landorus, maybe we pull something else, although, as I've said, I'm really happy with the ratios so far. Really, really happy with the ratios so far. You don't get as much bulk as, as you would want from a normal booster box, and that's always welcome. Because I do have way too much bulk, I don't know what to do with it. I do collect, I think someone was asking me what I do with my bulk, and I just collect it in one of those um, cardboard, cardboard storage containers, there you go. Um, I think that one holds up to 4,000 cards, and then whenever that is full, I usually end up selling it on, on eBay, and then the whole cycle continues. I don't actually keep most of my bulk, I actually end up selling it. Alright, looks like we have six booster packs left in this opening. We'll see if we can't be surprised in, in one of these. Let's see if we can't be surprised. Of course, I'd love to pull a special illustration rare because... Although I've, I'm probably going to be opening less of Surging Sparks, this is actually a set that I would recommend to open. Because all the cards in here are actually really, really cool. Especially if you get lucky and pull a special illustration rare. Well, there, I kind of spoiled that one, Tatsugiri. That kind of happens with these sealed cases, of course. We do get repeats. That does kind of happen. But that is fine. That is completely fine. Still have five booster packs left. So yeah, if you want to open a set, I highly recommend this one. Although, I do also have to point out, this set, at least over here in Europe on card market, seems to be pretty difficult to get a hold of, in English at least. Most of the products that I would usually buy in English, like three-pack blisters, are maybe like sold out or just not readily available, which is really, really weird. Never had that happen before, like with none of the other sets. Tapu Coco. So that is something. I think everyone is just trying to chase that, that Pikachu. I think that's it. Everyone is just trying to, to chase that Pikachu. That's what's going on here. We shall see if we have another pull in this opening or if the Tatsugiri was our last pull. Let's see. Would love to pull something else. Maybe an illustration. Let's 
Let's do it like this the old way. This is how I used to, to do the cards. Maybe, maybe, maybe we do it the old way, we get lucky. The cards wouldn't like reveal themselves. There we go, Chian Pao. Nope, didn't work. Didn't work, unfortunately. I think what I have to do is this. I have a really good feeling about this pack. And then watch. Watch, watch this pack have a special illustration rare. And then when I make a shorts video out of it, it's gonna be insane. People will think I'm clairvoyant. There you go. That's that's how it works. That's how you get the, the big pulls. Let's see. Shallows, Slackoth, Azelf, Chill Teaser Toy. We've got a Tauros, lovely illustrated. Latios. We have a Maridon reverse. Is that our first reverse in this opening? That seems strange. Maridon. Yo, okay. We have a Shinotic. Nice. Hey, it did work. We did get a pull after all. Another illustration rail. That's very nice. That is very, very nice. I'm not mad about that at all. It's not one of the three that I was really after. It may not be one of the three illustration rares that I was after, but it's still a very, very great pull. All right, we're going to save the Latias artwork for last, because that is probably my favorite pack art of Surging Sparks. Or maybe just in recent years in, in general. I think that is really, really lovely done. Yeah, maybe I'll just buy a few of those artworks in particular and just have them lying around. Seaton. Sea Titan. We have a Shrudel, Bruxish. Let's see, Counter Gain. Xian Pao. We have a Fue Coco. And Tapu Coco. Basic energy, and here is the code court for that one. We saved the best pack for last. Another Latios artwork, which does contain a Pikachu artwork. That's kind of strange. Like, why does it contain different artworks? Like the sleeved and then the pack inside. Shouldn't it be the same if they're going to do something like this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That seems kind of strange to me. I've always wondered about that. Always wondered about that. All right. Orin Guru. We have a Volpix. Very cute. Swablu. Lovely illustration by Soso. -So. We have... Well, I'm just spoiling everything here with my card tricks. Latios, Coridon, Iron Bundle. Let's do it like this. Maybe I can't spoil it this time. Flapple and a Holographic Eternatus. Okay, nothing in the last pack. But I think I got really, really great ratios in this opening. Okay, so in, in terms of ratios, I got one Ace spec card. I got two normal EX cards. I got three of the terrestrialized EX cards, or so-called textured EX cards, um, two illustration rares, and two full arts. I think either of these could have been a special illustration. We're really happy with Delicia, of course. That one looks lovely, even though it isn't the special illustration. Yeah, it still looks really, really cool. Really happy about that one. But I guess that does it for this opening. If you enjoyed this one, and a like would be greatly appreciated. If you didn't, then give it a dislike. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like, so I can try to fix that for future videos. Other than that, right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here is the subscribe button. Click this one first and click this video. Actually, click this one first and click this video. Check out any of the other videos in the description below. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace. Take care.